Okay, here's my latest project. Um, I'm going to change the power cord on this um, old Roland Juno 60 synthesizer and um, <clears throat> thought I'd show you what's inside one of these things. It's really cool. Check it out. All right. So basically to get inside this, you just need to unbolt um, two bolts on each end of the end caps. It's not the first time I've been inside one of these and um, it definitely will not be the last. So I've got the four bolts out, pop the lid open, and voila, this is what you have. <laughs> These are so cool. Check it out. So, as you can see, there's a lot of, um, you know, different components in these. You've got capacitors, transistors, diodes, uh, <coughs> you know, you got the circuit boards, power supply, and that's actually what I'm going to be working on, is the power supply, and, um, but, I'm going to have to heat up my soldering iron, and then I'll be good to go. So got this soldering iron heating up, and um, first thing I need to do is see how this power cord is routed, and I'll have to um, cut off some retaining clips to get this thing out. Okay, so that's out, and basically all I'm really going to have to do is unsolder that and um, connect a ground to the ground terminal, and I'll be good to go. I hate having to use these for everything. Sometimes you just have to use what what's available and make it work. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I thought. Actually, probably about 20 minutes, and I was thinking it was gonna be like a five minute deal. But anyway, I got the old um, power supply out. Right here. And put the new one in, got it grounded. And um, now all I need to do is solder the terminals in, and I'm good to go. But check this out. I'm gonna to try to put the camera down there so you can see this. All right, here we go. Get my happy little gun. And, um, well, somewhere, oh, and the happy little solder. And solder these in.
Okay. Next one. Maybe a little bit more. Put a good bead on there. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Well, one more. Okay, I think we're good. Now the true test is to see if this thing works. That will be the ultimate goal here, of course. See here. Make sure I don't burn the house down. Okay, so close this up very nicely. Plug it in. Okay, and Voila, voila, we have power. Yes, we do, we're good. And that, my friends, is how you change a um, bad power cord on a vintage synthesizer. Uh, probably not the um, way of doing it by the book, but um, you know, I do the shade tree way, but hey, it works.